yesterday embracing the whole moment of it, but um, how are you guys uh, going to adapt without him being out there? I mean, only time can tell. Mm -hmm. You know, we're obviously game planning for it now. Uh, but, you know, you can't, can't replace what, what Chris brings to the team. Uh, he'll still be there being a leader, being vocal, but, you know, the things he does on the court, we're just having to find other ways to just be effective, uh, make sure everybody's involved. Was trying to do some of the Chris Paul stuff. Curious, because obviously with you being a, being more of a playmaker this year, we know Kevin's a playmaker. Is this about as prepared as you could be to lose a guy like Chris, knowing that you two are, are capable and, and do that as well? Yeah, I mean, it puts more on, you know, all of our plates. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's, that's part of playoff basketball. It's part of the NBA is just, you know, controlling what you can control. You know, we all wish injuries weren't a part of it, but, you know, it is. And, you know, the teams that can sustain that and adapt um, under those circumstances kind of tend to do better. Okay. How do you guys kind of approach the extra gap in between two and three? Because I know after a loss, you guys are normally ready to get back out there, but yeah. for preparation and rest sake. Um, I mean, just keep it high level. You know, even if you're not on the court, um, doing anything with your body, just, you know, your mental awareness, your sharpness still be there. And, you know, just mentally put yourself in those situations that we seen last game. Rewatch the last game, see what worked and what didn't. Devin, this might be difficult to answer, but with what you said to the group before Monty came in and those moments that come for you after a loss like that, what are what are you thinking in those moments in terms of when to step up and, and when something needs to be said? Um, you know, it's just a feel. You know, it's part of leadership, just trying to be effective in, you know, what you say and you know, approach different people different ways. You know, I've had a lot of different teammates, a lot of different coaches, so, you know, I've seen, you know, what works and what doesn't, and, you know, I think we have a group that everybody believes in us still, and, you know, we just take it from there. Who do you think of the most 